we met online, and uh, Marcy can tell the story better than I. It was really a bit of my persistence because uh, there was something, whether it be the glitter in her eye or the profile that she wrote, that intrigued me a lot. And I got a lot of stone wall before finally that first. You know. Yeah, he, one of his traits is persistence, which is a really good thing, and will serve us well in this race. But um, he wrote to me uh, several times, and I just said, thank you very much, but I'm really not interested. Um, you're just not my type. You're not the long-haired bad boy that I'm Yeah, I, I'd always been attracted a little more to the rock and roll, arty, long-haired guys. You know, I've never gone out with, you know, somebody like Ron, and he's in the financial world. It's like, oh, no, that is so not me. Um, but his code name was Harmonic Ron. I thought, well, maybe he plays the harmonica, because, you know, I play the harmonica. So, finally, I think the fifth time, and, and uh, he wrote, and I said, oh, all right, let's have coffee. You know, just get him to stop writing me. And so then we had, we had a great time. We actually ended up going to a museum. And played pool. We played pool. We had a great time, and then I drove him to his car, and I, you know, I just thought he's still not my type, but it was a really fun day. So he says, well, let's have another fun day. Okay, another one, and then another one, and then another one. So, like, we'd gone out, like, four times. It's like... Had the best time, got along. They, I thought he still wasn't my type, but I thought, why am I still going out with him? And then um, I called my psychic, and she <laughs> said, you know, I'm giving you strong advice here, Marcy. I've known her for 10 years. And she said, give the guy three months. Give it a shot, because you will be making a mistake. So I went, all right, I trust her. So I, I decided mentally to give it a shot. So needless to say, I'm deeply indebted to her psychic. <laughs> Once I <laughs> mentally decided to give it a shot, you know, the... The, the dam opened. We love adventure and excitement. I mean, a lot of things that we just share in our day-to-day -day life revolves around different activities. So, you know, what more, you know, if you go up the spectrum of activities, the Amazing Race really defines uh, how you can push yourself and really try. And I think that now that we're in, the fact that we're the oldest people in the race really is a motivator. I mean, uh, we look at the competition, and this, this is a group of just fit and strong and attractive uh, individuals. And the thought that, an aspiration that here it is, we're 60, and we really believe it's our time. Marcy's an incredible linguist. Uh, well, I speak well, fluent good. French and pretty good Italian. I lived in Milan a year, and my Spanish is pretty good. I have a knack with languages, so I would say fairly strong in three languages and then, you know, random bits in Chinese, Russian, German, Arabic, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, like, I like languages and I memorize them and like the little cleaning lady um, a couple blocks from my house, I've been practicing this Chinese phrase and people are going, whoa, that's really good. You know, I know a couple phrases, but my accents are good. Maybe I'm, you know. What's uh, your Chinese phrase? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, excuse me, can you help me please? Do you speak English? There we go. I think the audiences are going to find a real uh, dynamic in terms of Marcy's irreverence, spontaneity, energy, good-naturedness, and my kind of <laughs> feet firmly planted on the ground, Occasionally nerdy, a little quirky, yeah. good humor, and they kind of just play off of each we're, other. We're a little dis we're similar in many ways, but we're we're contrast in many ways too. Yeah. And uh, and yet it fits, you know, it works yeah. for us. So I hope that audiences find us to be sweet and entertaining and respectful, and uh, you can have a great amount of fun in life. Um, you know, go straight ahead. Don't trip anybody else up if you don't need to. Run your own race. Have a good time. High five. And I think, too, uh, that, you know, be 60 and... And sexy. Be 60 and sexy. Sexy. <laughs> sexy. And just embrace life. You know, just push yourself and take in the moment. And yeah. Value who you're with and have a good time.